to set up Google Pixel 8a, if you need to insert the SIM card, the SIM card trace here and the SIM ejector tool is on the other side of this leaflet. Just match the groove of the SIM card with the groove of the SIM card tray and it should fit in nice and flush. Then on a pixel, we see welcome, select get started. If you have an old Android, hold it up next to the Pixel AA and you can use your old Android to transfer your Wi-Fi and accounts over. If you don't have this, just tap on skip. Now connect to Wi-Fi. It will then ask who are you setting this phone for? We will select for myself. It is now asking us to sign in with our Google account. If you don't have an account, just tap create account. Most features on Pixel 8a require a Google account. Once signed in, it's asking if you want to add your number to Google. I personally select skip and then agree to the terms and conditions. Under set a pin, you can choose screen lock options to use a password or a pattern we can skip the screen lock, but I would personally recommend setting a pin. Then we have fingerprint unlock, scroll all the way down. And if you want the fingerprint to be added, select I agree, and then tap start. The fingerprint sensor is under the phone. So you just hold where the fingerprint icon is, and then just keep on holding this down Slightly change the position of your finger each time you do a scan until it's done. You can add multiple fingers or tap next to continue. Then we have face unlock. Let's scroll down. And if you want, you can select I agree. So we'll do that for the video. And then let's tap start. So just place your face in the frame of the phone. Look up and then look down. And we have the copy apps and data screen. So if you want to transfer data from an old phone, if you tap on next for this one, you can download a backup from your old phone. If it is a Android and you set this up, otherwise we'll tap don't restore. Now we have the Google services. I would recommend you agree to the terms and conditions and then select accept. We'll tap on next for the limited warranty. Now it's talking about Google Assistant. If you want, you can agree. And then the Google Assistant will activate with this command here. It then wants us to use voice match. So if we scroll down, this would mean that if someone else said the Hey Google commands, it wouldn't activate, only you can activate it. I'm personally going to select no thanks for this and then access the Google Assistant without unlocking your device. I'm personally going to select skip. Then let's select no thanks for anything else. And to stay up to date, we'll select no thanks. Then there is a basic tutorial on how to use the phone. And if you tap system navigation settings, you can go back to the old free button navigation and now we're good to go.